able to send that away. And settling down in the early stages, True Dividend going on from Far Top and Monastery and then Unknown Quantity and then Song of Sixpence and Parador on the inside. Jahal is the back marker. And True Dividend from Far Top. Monastery is third, four is Unknown Quantity. Five now Parador, six Song of Sixpence and seven Jahal. Going a real good gallop in this Chesterfield Cup as they invariably do in True Dividend. By about two from Far Top is a length and a half up on Monastery, a length up on Unknown Quantity. Then Parador with Jahal running round his outside. And the back marker now is Song of Sixpence. Racing towards the top of the hill now, six furlongs to run, and True Dividend's got a good four-length advantage, four advantage now over Far Top with Monastery going up on his outside. Unknown quantity in the Royal Colours comes four, five on the outside then is Jahal, then Parador going easily, although he's uh, back in six, and then Song of Sixpence and True Dividend leads now, but only by about two and a half as they swing right-handed, run downhill from uh, Monastery in second place, Jahal third. Four just in behind them, far top. Par Parador's making good ground on the inside now. Song of Sixpence is making ground on the outer. Swinging into the straight, True Dividend with the advantage. True Dividend from Monastery and Jahal and unknown quantity in the sheepskin nose band towards the far right of the picture as we see them now. They hit the three furlong pole and inside the final two and a half. True Dividend has made it all so far in the lead from Monastery with unknown quantity trying to make ground towards the stand side. Racing down now towards the furlong pole and it's True Dividend being pressed by unknown quantity on the near side with upside him far top, then Monastery. Parador doesn't look as though he's going to get there. Song of Sixpence is coming there on the outside with a tremendous run to take it up. Song of Sixpence takes it up as they race into the closing stages. Song of Sixpence going clear of far top and unknown quantity. Song of Sixpence, the winner, far top seconds, unknown quantity third. Four was the gamble, Parador, and then Jahal on the inner and true dividend. The long-time leader, Monastery, was last. And a brilliantly timed run once again by Steve Cawthon on his fourth winner of the meeting. The winner number five, Song of Sixpence, owned by Mr. Paul Mellon, trained by the... Chesterfield Cup specialist Ian Boarding and written by Steve Gordon. Second, uh, number seven, Far Top, owned by Mrs. A. Valentine, trained by Reg A. Kirst and written by Pat Eddery. And third, number two, Unknown Quantity in the Royal Colours, Unknown Quantity owned by Her Majesty the Queen, trained by Willie Hastings Bass and written by Willie Carson. Fourth was number four, Parador. So Ian Boarding wins it again for the fifth time. Here's how he did so.